and you can change the speed like this so to make a 555 timer in a stable mode you need only six components the 555 timer chip 100 microfarads electrolytic capacitor one resistor for the LED in my case I'm using 820 ohms you need another resistor of 330 ohms and one potentiometer of 5 kilo ohms 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 electronic components to make this kind of circuit let's start soldering now let me explain how to solder the electronic components step by step pin number 8 and pin number 4 need to be connected together pin number 2 and pin number 6 need to be connected together The 100 microfarads electroly electrolytic capacitor is soldered on pin number 1 and pin number 2 of 555 timer. Negative pole need to be soldered on pin number 1. On pin number 7 with pin number 8 we're gonna solder the resistor of 330 ohms. On pin number 6 and 7 we're gonna solder the 5 kilo ohm potentiometer. On pin number 3 the LED with the resistor is soldered on pin number 3 and 4. Positive side of the LED is soldered on pin number 4 and the negative through the resistor on pin number 3. And here it is, the complete free form design of a stable mode with 555 timer or speed control of the blinking LED or output on pin number 3. Why I am making this kind of circuit? You're gonna see in a couple of seconds. Now the 555 timer in a stable mode is connected to CD4017 decad counter that on that are soldered 6 LEDs so I can get a night rider LED effect and to trigger the CD1417 you need a high stable mode of the 555 timer <coughs> sorry and you can change the speed like this and it's cool so here we have two separate circuits one for the LED rider and another for a stable mode with 555 timer if you want to make or see how it's made this LED chasing effect check the link below